Welcome back everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a warning for you and we've got something we need to do as a quick fix. Really important, the latest Fire Stick update, um, the part where you sideload your device, uh, developer options where you install from unknown sources and your ADB debugging, turn it on and off, has been removed. And we've been worried about something like this maybe happen for a long, long time, uh, mainly because this can stop you installing from websites, okay? Good news is, if it was ever removed, there is another way to install directly from your mobile phone, and um, we can cover that video if ever need to. <clears throat> but today, we're gonna show you the fix, so do stay tuned. But first, remember, if you are brand new here, hit that subscribe button. If you're a regular watcher, do hit that share button. We bring you everything Fire Stick related, updates and everything like that, and I've been wanting to bring you this video for a few days. Problem is, I haven't been able to trigger the update. <laughs> My update is really delayed on all devices at the minute. But normally, in your settings, you will go to your developer options, and a lot of people are going into My Fire TV and experiencing this, okay? So you've got your About, Legal and Compliance, Sleep, Restart, and Reset to Factory Default. But normally, normally in here, you also have developer options, just underneath About. So let me know in the comments if you are having this issue, it seems to be mainly happening on the older Fire TV Stick versions and Fire TV Stick lights, okay? That's what it is happening on. So do let me know underneath if you're experiencing it. So mine currently is how it should look. As you see here, I've got about developer options, legal compliance, sleep, restart, reset to factory default. And a lot of people are getting this, okay? You see the difference? Just about, I've taken this, um, image from the internet because like I say mine's not triggered yet but there's a lot of articles coming out on it now and uh, for me to get the message across to more people it's better I do a video for you so what's happened they've removed it on the latest update and why who knows it looks like they're following along it might be part to do with um, using a lot of new Android systems coming up in the future they might be trialing something but whether you know or not obviously on Android phones to get your developer options back you tap the about really the model number so you go into your about model number you would tap it so many times and the developer options get turned on this is no real difference on your fire stick okay this is no real difference on your fire stick so you go into about and where it says fire tv stick light or fire tv stick whichever model you are on you have to tap that or push the button the select button on your remote seven times one two three four five, six, seven, and underneath you will see it saying how many more clicks you have to do to get the developer options back. And then this option of your developer options will be back again. I know this might not be the most clearest example for you, mainly because it hasn't happened for me. Okay, this is on the latest updates. The update where you have all the different free icons here as well. If you need to check for your updates, if you've got any new ones, you go to settings, my fire TV, about, and you've got your check for updates there. Apparently mine's fully updated, um, check for updates, but I still haven't got the new update like everybody else here. But, you know, the main thing we need to do is make sure we have these developer options, because in here is where you turn on the install unknown apps, okay, or the ADB debugging. So if you haven't got developer options here, click on about, then on this Fire TV stick like bit, you tap it seven times. Okay, that is the option on how to do it. If this ever got removed, what we could use is an app. I don't know if many of you ever use it. Um, I use this still probably more now than any other app um, to install stuff on my Fire Sticks, apart from demonstration wise, is Apps to Fire. It's a mobile phone app where you can just send it over, okay? Send it over. I believe that would still work. Um, you may need an ADB debugging connection, but normally you don't need to go in there to select it in developer options. It will prompt you as you connect. Okay, so that's another option. And if anyone would like a fresh video on apps to fire, on how to send apps from your mobile phone onto your Fire TV devices, let us know in the comments as well. I find it the easiest way, although I still use my website to download things, I quickly go to my website on my mobile phone, download it, onto my phone and then send it across instead of having to type anything on the Fire Stick. Or if I needed to download to test from any other websites, I can do it that way. It's just easier than typing into the downloader. But that's obviously my option there is what I prefer. 
Obviously, everyone has a different way. I use Downloader sometimes, but it's a very easy way because I use the same apps on my phone anyway, so it's useful. If you wanted to move anything you might have installed from Google Play Store onto your Fire Stick, another good option. But it won't work for your likes of SkyGo and all that, which is what we all try anyway. So, let's remember, if you have this about screen without developer options, very simple, to get these developer options back onto about, and then you tap this Fire TV Stick light seven times. I hope that was useful for you. Um, I hope I get the updates soon. Um, we spoke about the updates where the new icons multiple times about a month ago, but I still haven't got it on any Fire TV device. I've tried all my different Fire Sticks. This is a Fire Stick, Fire Stick, Fire Stick Light. I did a factory reset on it. Still trying to trigger it. Nothing, nothing. You can try resetting it. You can try restarting it. And I'm still getting no update as of yet. But as soon as I get one, we will run through all these checks on a fresh video for you as well. But I've had so many comments about people can't find the developer options. So it's only right we got it done now. Brilliant. Before I leave, as always, if you can and you are a Fire Stick user, remember, do hit that subscribe button. Check out the channel. We've got a video here, settings you need to turn off on your Fire Stick. That's got over a million views, okay? Really important stuff. Jailbreak the Amazon Fire Stick Fire TV update and how to set it up. 707,000 views. Really important how people put all the apps on there. Everything for you. Live TV and sports, settings, jailbreaks, all on here. Plus all your VPNs, free VPNs. We even done one here yesterday on something we haven't covered in a long time. Stop your buffering. All the stuff is on the channel ready for you. Brilliant. Before we leave, quick word from one of our partners. If you are after a VPN to help you keep you online and safe, IP Vanish is a company we partner with. They sponsor a lot of our videos. We bring this to you at the end so it doesn't interrupt the content. But if you are after a VPN or want to help support the channel, signing up to IP Vanish is $3.99 a month. You got a 30 day risk free money back guarantee on that. You get online safety. It goes on your Fire Stick, your Fire TV. It's all there for you, and this is better than any Patreon or any memberships we could do for you, because this way you get a VPN, and we also get a little bit of support from you guys, which helps us provide all our giveaways and all the stuff we give back to you. For anybody who hasn't been on my Twitter, we are giving away NVIDIA Shield at the moment, so do check that out. It's all linked directly underneath. But until then, I've been Doc Squiffy. I hope that fix helped you. I will do a clearer example of it once I get the update. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all very, very soon.